I'll take an example to illustrate uh, the contribution margin further. Uh, you can pause the video and look at read the question. Uh, so I'm going to just write here. So we have uh, number of units, maybe next slide. So we have two types of uh, units. So let me say quality. So we have a regular quality and we have a premium quality. And then there are units. We have 500 each. So total units are 1000. This is total. Uh, we have to figure out the price per unit, the variable cost per unit. And then we can figure out the revenue and the total variable cost. And then the contribution can be figured out here. So the price uh, is premium 12,000 and regular 10,000. Premium is uh, 12,000. Regular is 10,000 per piece. The variable cost is 5,000 and 7,000. 5,000 and 7,000. The revenue hence from the regular comes out to be uh, units multiplied by the price, so this comes out to be 50 lakhs. On the other hand, for premium, this comes out to be 60 lakhs. Here, yeah. the total variable cost comes out to be this multiplied by this, so this is 25, and you have 500 multiplied by this, so you have 35 lakhs. Here. Yeah. The contribution uh, of each of the units can be calculated. However, uh, we will do the overall contribution calculation. So I'm going to skip the last column for the, uh, I'll do that later. So the total revenue that we are making here is 110 lakhs. And the total uh, variable cost here comes out to be 60. 60 lakhs, 60 lakhs here. Now the contribution therefore is 50 lakhs. This is the contribution that we have at the top of the revenue. So the contribution which is equal to the sales minus total variable cost comes out to be 50 lakhs. This is the contribution. Now the contribution margin. Contribution margin is equal to the contribution which is 50 lakhs divided by the total revenue which is 110 multiplied by 100 that's it that's how you calculate the contribution margin we could also take the contribution uh, per unit and, and figure this out uh, how will we do that in order to figure out contribution per unit now you have to do an average because you have two different quality of uh, the products so the average price com comes out to be 11,000. So uh, P minus variable cost per unit. Average price is 11,000 minus average variable cost is 6,000. Uh, which gives you 5,000 as the contribution per unit. 5,000 per unit is the contribution. And now if you have to figure out contribution margin, all you have to do is you take 5,000 you divide this by the 11,000 which is the uh, price per unit and you have your multiply this by 100 and you have the contribution margin. In both the cases uh, this comes out to be 45% so 45% 45.4% actually. So this is the contribution margin. So what we are saying here is that out of the total uh, revenue the revenue that we generate 6 lakhs uh, have to be spent on basically generating, uh, uh, producing the product and then you are only left with 50 uh, lakhs worth of rupees to cover the fixed cost. So that's how uh, you know contribution margin is calculated. I'll see you in the next video.